breakfast is served. You're not on there right yet. That's your stair up here. <gasps> no! Ah. Uh, oh, I dropped my G7X. This is the new one. It's broken. What a bad start to the day. But Molly's here on her bed that needs cleaning so bad. Hi, BP. but you got a bath, didn't you? You look so white again. Ah. <laughs> Happy last day of Vlogmas. Um, in typical form for this channel, this bad luck channel, um, I, you've seen, I had Molly, uh, earlier in the month, I thought she needed her anal glands expressed, so no big deal, and then Milk Toast got conjunctivitis and was down for a few days, kind of just feeling bad, and now Pippi, I'm worried about him. I'm trying not to panic, <laughs> because it's Christmas Eve, I'm filming this on Christmas Eve, but he, I saw him twice this morning go into the litter box and I don't think he did anything. And then I've seen him lick himself. Uh, and then I've heard him meow a bunch. And usually those are signs of his urinary crystal sickness that he's been dealing with. He's on a special food for it. And he hasn't had anything happen since March. Um, but, this is a stressful, Chica's been here. I've seen them interact a bunch and Pip's been really standing his own ground. Are you scared of Pip? Oh, you can't follow him in there. He's doing business. <laughs> And I did everything I thought I could do, right? Like I, I kept the upstairs up here um, Chica free. So Pip could always come up here and get away from her. Um, and I've been giving him like extra of his medicated food, the wet food. But I am concerned that he, those things could indicate that he is blocking right now. Um, and if he fully blocks and cannot pee, then that's life-threatening. Now, in the past, when he's blocked, I've seen him go on the litter box like all the time. I've only seen him do it twice this morning, and now he's just resting. He ate his food, um, so I'm optimistic, but I did call the vet and I said, you're not, you're not closing on Christmas, are you? Um, cause I'm worried. When I had my roof installed, that was a really stressful, like two week long event where people were pounding on the roof and making all kinds of noise. I thought he would definitely block during that week for sure. And he didn't. So he's been doing really well, but of course another dog in the house, I think, even though it's a dog that he's familiar with, has, has been with before, I still think this is his turf. Hopefully this is nothing. Hopefully I'm just panicking for nothing. I just panic because I know if he does block, then that's a horrible time for Pip. He has to have a catheter put in. He has to stay in the hospital for several days. He may have to have surgery now because it's happened so much. Anyway, Merry Christmas. Um, I am going to watch him. I'm, I palpated him. Uh, I called the vet and I told them all this and they're like, oh, you know what you're doing, <laughs> I guess, by this point. Um, but he, I palpated him and he didn't cry, so essentially I'm just waiting to see if he goes back in the litter box at all, if he uh, throws up or if he meows more or continues to lick himself. I'm hopeful that we can just have a chill couple of days and nothing will happen and he will just pee and it'll be fine. Uh, and that this morning he was just sort of stressed out. Anyway, I do have to run to the post office though because Molly has some special food that she's on now and it got delivered yesterday and I don't even know if the post office is open today but I have to pick it up if I can. So I should go do that but I'm going to clean up up here and have my mom come up here and just watch Pip. I think he's just gonna be sleeping but just in case. Hey, don't do this to me, okay? Don't do this to me. You're just gonna take your after breakfast nap, right? <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm trying to take my nap. Get out of my face. Messy, 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 messy. 
and clean. Okay, update on Pip. I think he's doing well. I put Chica in my guest bedroom and I brought Pip upstairs. We just kind of chilled and I cleaned up a bit. He played with some toys and I gave him some catnip and then I think he peed. I don't know 100%, I'm so annoyed. I had two litter boxes up there that I cleaned out so I could see if he peed and then he, I heard him down in the downstairs one which is the one I hadn't cleaned up yet which is the one I thought he would use so I should've. I ran down there <laughs> and I'm just gonna tell you, he was coming out and I saw what I thought was cat pee and I stuck my fingers in it and it was very wet so it was fresh. Am I a, a great pet parent or am I am I unwell? Uh, no, I think it was his and I think he finally peed and was relieved. It was a lot of pee. It's Christmas Eve, it's Christmas day. We're not going anywhere. The vet is open. We are literally just going to chill out and keep an eye on that boy. Speaking of which, I'm in the car right now so I don't have my eye on him but my mom is watching him right now and I am gonna try to run to the post office before it closes to pick up Molly's food. Whew. Yes, I double masked. My mother is a cancer survivor and sometimes has low oxygen. Can I just take a minute, <laughs> just a COVID Christmas minute, to just say how tired I am of the mask debate? Uh, yesterday I met up with my cousin at a restaurant. I didn't take my mask off, I just got stuff to go. But there are so many people that are just needing to eat at a restaurant and I don't get it. I read an article, you know, you can say whatever you want about COVID. If you're young and healthy, hopefully you'll be fine. But I read an article months ago saying the thing about COVID-19 is that it is acute on chronic. So if you have a chronic condition or you're immunocompromised, then COVID-19 is very, very difficult for those people to survive. So you being tired of a mask is really just you saying you're okay with already sick people just dying and, and dying alone. My grandfather, you know, he was in a, a stage of dying for several years through his dementia. But COVID-19 just quickly accelerated that. And he had to die alone. And that is something that myself and my father will have to deal with the rest of our lives, that we couldn't be there for the moment that he passed away after caring for him for the last like eight years. Was he sick? Yes. Was his quality of life bad? Yes. Does that mean he needed to die alone so that you can go to a restaurant? No, it doesn't. I can't even think about it really without getting angry. People will say, well, it's just like a cold or a flu. Well, not really. It's the first year and the vaccine is just barely here. So it's not like the cold or the flu. It's, it's new. Be careful for just a few more months. That's the thing is that it's just, I get that it's been a lot this year, but people are still spreading it more than they should be and now it's cold and flu season when things spread all the time anyway and people have such a crazy 
hang up about the mask. And to those people, I just say like, do you believe in covering your mouth when you sneeze? That seems obvious, right? Kindergartners learn to cover their mouths when they sneeze. Some people use their hands, some people use their elbow. But if you really want to get the job done and you wanna do it with hands free, it's a piece of cloth that covers your mouth and you can still use your hands. It's the fact that it has become politicized when it is literally a piece of cloth for convenience of not spreading your own germs to people you don't know. I know that there's a lot of people that are financially hurting because of this. That's terrible, but there are a lot of other people who are dying because of this. And, and you still have your life and you don't need to go to a restaurant. You might have gotten it when you went to the restaurant yesterday and now you're at a restaurant giving it to someone else and then you're not gonna get sick for a couple more days. That's how this works. It's discouraging. My dad is spending Christmas alone and that's really sad to me. I think this could have been a year that we all looked back and, and said, oh, you know, we really did our part. Remember that holiday where we all wore funny masks? Ha ha. But instead it's like, no, a lot of people had to die. I've personally lost my grandfather. Uh, I had a great uncle who passed away. Just think of other people. Isn't that what this holiday is about? I shouldn't rant this much. Just going to that going to that restaurant yesterday was like eye-opening. All of these people who just think that it's more important that they eat in a restaurant this month or this year than to just get it to go or eat at home because their tiny contribution might mean that someone else doesn't have to say goodbye to their loved one through a glass partition. <sighs> There's two kinds of people in this world. Which one are you? Okay, something just fell off of this camera, which is probably not good. Like a little tiny piece of, I don't know. Look at my pretty wreath. I got that as a present. Uh, I'm home and I guess this is just transitioning into a normal vlog. I think Pip is going to be okay. I'm wondering if he was partially blocked. Oh, here he is. Hi, Mr. Man. Hey, how you doing? By the way, this dog food is um, from a company called The Farmer's Dog. This is not sponsored, but if you guys are watching, I'm open. Hi, Pip. You're very interested in what I have here. It's Molly's food. I tried this food, I think I tried it with Paige and Molly, and it really was pretty rich for Molly. Hi. Hi. Are you feeling better? You're man of the house. I hope you know that. You're man of the house and you can have this. Well, actually, you probably can't have this box because there's dry ice. Ooh, they're still frozen. Oh, perfect. I'm so relieved. They're still frozen, Pippi. <laughs> Do they smell good? It's turkey. So basically, this is what it is. Molly's turkey recipe. Here, let me take my sheets off. When I first tried this, it was really too rich for Molly. And I was I was like, oh, that's such a shame because she's older now and she's so picky about food. Anything you put on top of her food, one day she'll be like, oh, this is my favorite, thank you. And then the next day she'll look at you and be like, that's disgusting. How dare you put fresh ham on top of my food? It makes no sense. But this she will eat, but it didn't agree with her stomach when I first tried it. But I really, really want her to succeed on it because I think it's hard for her to chew. Um, I need to, to go like put her under and have her teeth examined and possibly some extracted. It's just been one with COVID, not being able to go into the vets for a bit there during the year. And then two, I'm just so terrified of of putting Molly under anesthesia because she had heartworm. She, her lungs were compromised. So just with all the loss that I've experienced of my grandmother and Paige and my grandfather and my other grandfather, it's like nothing can happen to Pip, nothing can happen to Molly. <laughs> Everyone's fine, no one's having surgery, okay? So I really want her to eat this and so far, she's been on it for like a week and it's not having the same effect on her. It's really good. Are you chewing my winter village? Hey, hey, no, those are lights. Uh, hey! <laughs> I was using this to prop up a laptop when I had my book club, but let's not. I'm not talking to you. Hey, do you want me to make a fire later for you? You're just gonna have a chill day, okay? Yeah, I guess you guys will just stay with me the rest of the day. I'm gonna, I gotta walk the dogs, I gotta feed Molly, 
I gotta do a live stream. I haven't even, it's like one o'clock. I haven't even had breakfast yet. And then there's a couple of Christmas presents I need to wrap last minute. And then hopefully I can just build a fire and watch some Christmas movies uh, to celebrate the evening. So I'm gonna go get to all of that stuff. Oh my gosh, the bad news is that I can keep two of them in the fridge, but then the others have to go in the freezer and <laughs> My freezer is this small. I think I've made room, but I, I have to make room for my gluten-free bagels. Are you talking to yourself? No, I'm vlogging. Hi, oh, mom. Sorry. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I do talk to myself and there's nothing wrong with it. I know, I do too. You know Pipsqueak's feeling better if he is engaging in his favorite activity, which is hiding in the, are you in here? Are you up here? I know it's a cool area, but one time I shut you in here for like 10 minutes. I'm wearing my blue light glasses. It's a couple hours later and I'm taking a quick break from my live stream. I'm doing an Animal Crossing live stream today on Twitch, but I'm heating up some soup that I made yesterday. It's just egg drop soup because it is cold today. Pip seems to be doing good. Knock on all of the wood. Okay, it's a lot later. I've got the vlog edited mostly, except for this clip. And I have a fire going. Oh, my camera battery is dying. Uh, shoot, hold on. I really wanted to show you guys what my cousin got me for Christmas when I met up with her yesterday. I opened the present already. I haven't opened any other presents, but I just, it's, like she knows me so well. And I just wanted to share it because it made me really happy. She got me this bag that has the most adorable little kittens on it. And then she got me a, uh, a notebook, a writing notebook that's just the most perfect shade of green. Uh, I love it so much. She got me special chai. I've never tried this kind. Uh, so amazing. I love chai so much and then some chocolate and this really pretty candle holder uh, with just a ton of little votive candles. And this makes me really happy because the votives are small enough that there's no chance of, I'm always worried about Pipsqueak's tail. Like the cats are super uh, aware of, but Pipsqueak's tail just, goes everywhere and I'm always afraid that that thing's gonna light on fire. So this is perfect. So anyway, I hope you guys have a good holiday. I did it, I did Vlogmas, <laughs> I did it. Never again. <laughs>